Okay, oh. Another one's finished. This is the Valentine. British medium tank, I guess you'd call it. Yeah. Um, Tamiya. Uh, it's a buddy build turned into a group build uh, with my friend Steve from uh, England. He came to visit and this was his present. He's, he's a great guy. He's awesome. Um, it uh, was a nice build and I know you're looking at it and going there's something doesn't look right about it and um, it's the markings no doubt uh, this is with a bit of artistic license a uh, British Valentine tank that was captured by the Germans pressed into service and then recaptured by the Allied forces and brought back into the fold as it were. Um, I tried to replicate as much of the photograph as I could. There were some differences. Uh, the turret is a little different. Uh, it didn't come with the box on the back. I had to build that. That's out of copper. Uh, the photograph here, the gun port is, is shaped different on it. Uh, it's more rounded as this is more squared. Uh, also, uh, the little, you'll notice, because you'll see the photograph, that the uh, stencil of the animal, which I believe is a bull, maybe a lion, uh, I couldn't replicate. It was just too small. I, there was no matter what I tried, I couldn't replicate it, so I just kind of left it off. So poetic or artistic license, as it were. Uh, very little scratch building. Uh, the box is about it, actually. Uh, the cables on the front, uh, tow cables. I uh, cut the or broke off the headlight mounts because the photograph doesn't have the headlights on it. The photograph also, as you look at it, has the exhaust standing perpendicular as opposed to horizontal. And the tracks are also 90 degrees off from the, uh, the kit. But it's just neither the kit piece nor the PE replacement piece uh, was small enough to allow me to configure it that way and the exhaust was also in the way. Um, overall it was an awesome kit. It turned out really well. It's been painted with uh, Vallejo Desert Yellow. Uh, the black is a uh, craft acrylic uh, hobby store black which is on the uh, road wheels, uh, uh, shovel, uh, the viewports, uh, periscopes. Uh, the rust is uh, the MIG pencils. These things, AK, sorry, AK pencils, the rust series, uh, a little bit of pigment. Uh, the pigments are all Vallejo, the washes are AK, the, some of the mud effects are uh, Vallejo. Um, it's an Edward PE set and uh, I guess that's about it. I didn't put all the tools on. I left some of the stuff off. Uh, some of the uh, PE stuff was either too fiddly or, or when you got it all together didn't didn't look as nice as the plastic so I didn't train I didn't use all of it. I find that I never do actually. Uh, metal barrels. Uh, I got the set because the I don't know how they do it. I mean it, the machining process is phenomenal but the you can't beat the turned brass machine gun barrels on these uh, you know aftermarket. They're, they're, the kits just don't even come close. And it's also it's nice to be able to look down the gun barrel and see a little bit of rifling on the main gun. Uh, overall, would I recommend it? Oh, hell yeah. It's an awesome kit. 
a lot of fun link and link tracks um, plenty of room to play around with uh, the one thing I didn't like about it there's no way I was going to use with the crew um, if you look at the crew figures you got to think walking dead they're just overly skinny anorexic almost uh, so they didn't get used uh, yeah I'd recommend it to anybody wanting to build it it's a nice kit no problems build it right out of the box and it'll look good um, it, just have a lot of fun okay thanks for watching